So I wanted to talk about the Nerwin's Mercy, which is the Iron Banner Pulse Rifle that just came with the Iron Banner that just left last week. And I just said just about seven times. But anyway, I wanted to do like a mini review on this weapon because I made a video last week saying that this is the most important Iron Banner of year two because this weapon may disappear and they may replace it with new Iron Banner weapons. And Nerwin's Mercy is an incredible pulse rifle. But right now the meta is the faster firing pulse rifles like your hawk saws. So the Nerwin's Mercy doesn't do as well as those weapons. But it's good to have this in your back pocket in case they ever do buff the slower rate of fire pulse rifles. But this weapon is still usable as it is right now. It looks cool, it looks amazing and the one that came from Iron Banner last week had a full stability roll. Meaning that this weapon fires like a laser. Now this weapon is better from long range, far away from medium to long range, standing in one spot, camping, head glitching, this weapon will destroy enemies. It does like 29 damage to the head and if you get to a certain range that damage will start to drop off but it still does a really really good amount of damage even when the damage starts to drop off due to the range. So if you're the sort of person who doesn't run in, doesn't get stuck in like I do, I run in with my shotgun and my hawksaw or my shotgun and my doctrine of passing, standing back and camping with this weapon, watching over a point, watching over a spawn area, this weapon is absolutely deadly. With the max stability, this means once you start to fire at them, if you are at precision height and your first clip absolutely destroys them precision wise, your second clip will automatically be at that level because the gun doesn't move or bounce pretty much whatsoever. Meaning you could possibly kill people before they even realize where you are and where you're getting shot from. Which is always a good thing to have in your back pocket. So you could just go and get a vantage point, kill some enemies, get some enemies down and then gain advantage in the map. Allowing you guys to move up, spawn kill or even capture that B flag and such things so you can play the objective. This weapon is a great weapon for someone who's going to sit back casually and have good enough aim to absolutely destroy people as they're coming off spawn, as they are trying to capture a flag. And just pretty much fighting from range now a lot of the time at range on a face-to-face -face battle you will pretty much only lose to two weapons or let's say three weapons a really good scout rifle the meter multi-tool or the hawk saw i have rarely been beaten by anything else at a good distance at a good range and I feel that even the person with the Hawksaw was just really, really skilled with it. Scout rifles at long range obviously have a massive advantage. But if you hit them first, which is very possible with this laser type weapon, you are going to pretty much kill them before they even see where you are and can react. But if you just stay in one position after you've killed someone, that person is going to come back and know exactly where you are. And if they have a scout rifle, they're going to be able to pick you off. I got absolutely destroyed by this guy who had a color advantage duty once he figured out how I was playing and where I was. But all in all, I would put this weapon in the top five crucible weapons, maybe six and then another top five. But you know, it's definitely up there with all the other weapons and it's good to have in case they replace these Iron Banner weapons with new ones. And if they ever do buff the slower rate of fire pulse rifles, this weapon is going to be awesome. So I really hope that you guys manage to get this and to get to rank five and have enough legendary marks to buy it. I love this weapon. I love sitting back with it when I don't want to rush in. But let me know down below what you think of this weapon, if you have it, if people are using it against you, do you find it frustrating, do you find it annoying, do you think it needs to be buffed, do you love this weapon? Hit the comments section hard, I have been easy now and you guys have been awesome and what would be awesome is if you're new here, hit that subscribe button and of course that like button, you help me out so much with your support, I love you all. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.